Okay, wow, it's making the funkiest noise. Printing a Volanoi pattern of a calisthenics ring. Official dimensions, I think. I don't know what it's gonna turn out after the after I've used the pattern on it. But it's gonna be interesting, alright. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm testing with this amount of filament, which is not gonna be enough. Unfortunately, I just thought instead of pulling the filament out, I would just see what it does, which is probably pretty stupid. And I don't know if like leveling this, ooh, ooh, something's peeling off, but I don't know if I just like didn't level this thing. Ah, oh, it's peeling. And I don't seem to have enough glue right where it's peeling, so. I wonder if this is going to work. Seems to be kind of sketchy. Kind of hit and miss. But that's why I thought I'd use the small amount of filament that I have left to see if I can catch any errors before we move to a bigger filament reel. Start wasting it. End up with a little bit of filament. I don't know what kind of errors I'm seeing here though. I mean, I hope the bed is leveled. Why is it making all that noise? Is it like scratching against the bed? <laughs> oh, it's so weird. It's such a weird noise. Everything is so cold that it might be having a hard time printing on the cold. I wonder. It's starting, it's starting to get funky. It's starting to get funky. Never done a Volanoi before. What software did I get? Uh, Mesh Mixer from Autodesk for free and Cura. So I knew nothing and now I know that these are the standard software packages. Oh wait, I can pause printing and just add more filament, so that'll be something I'm learning this time. Anyway, should be interesting. Maybe I get my real camera instead of the GoPro and do like um, time lapse. Anyway, as it's not really so close to the uh, bed anymore after the initial pass, it's not making that funky noise. I just thought I would record that funky noise because it's like that Nordic ice skating video where it makes these like alien dolphin noises. No, it's pulling off the bed right there. That's not good. That's not good. So. Will the additional passes keep it laying down? Doesn't look like it. It's peeling off. I might have to put, I might have to add like a heater. And a lot of glue. I mean, I have a blow dryer, so I was thinking about that, but I also got a, just like a heater that you would sit on the floor, a little small heater, so portable heater. So 
So I think one of those would like help keep the temperature up on the bed. And the cold glue is not cutting it. In some parts it is, obviously. But I think the, actually what pulled it up was um, this kind of stuff here where it got all mungled up. And then as it's running the head over it, it, it pulls itself off. Dang, it's making that weird noise again. Yeah, it's gonna mess itself up. Ah, oh, so weird. No, it's peeling. It's peeling. It's peeling. I wish it wouldn't do that. I'm gonna have to add a heater for sure. That's gotta be one reason. And is the bed level? Like, is it ramming the nozzle onto the bed? Oh, look at it pull up. Look at it pull up. Do I have the print speed too high? Like, why is it doing that? I think it's level. It was level. Can it get unlevel? Just from like winter cold temperatures or what's going on here? I don't know. There's so many things I don't know. Which is why we just gotta test it, right? Ooh, ooh, we're gonna pull it we're gonna pull it off. No 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 I pull it off. But it's doing some kind of Illinois. With no supports, as far as I know, in Cura. Cura, the Keurig. Let's see, can it pull it off? It's doing its thang. It's doing its thang thang. The thang thang. It's not sticking. I wish it would stick right there, but it's not. And it's gonna start pulling. And we have liftoff. That's officially garbage. <laughs> it is officially garbage. So what we have to do, it looks cool though. What is with all those noises? I just hope I'm not damaging my thing. My thing thing. The servos are really cool. No, it's finished. We gotta stop it. We gotta stop it. It's really cool though, but we're just gonna stop it there. Ding 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 ding, stop print. Will that? It says the target temperature is now zero, so it's gonna cool itself down, so I don't have to worry about whether or not I hit cool down. Which I don't think, maybe that's not even a thing you have to do. Last time I was worried, like, do I have to cool it down? Ooh! Oh, that's cool. What did we get? See, some of it stuck because it was glued down nice. So, if we did a better job on the glue, we're gonna get these Olympic rings. And with the Volanoi, we got a really hilarious count. Really hilarious gram count. It's very low. I don't know what it was, like 40 grams which is, it's like two cents a gram. So that's 80 cents to make a ring, Canadian, which is like 50 cents US. But that's not gonna be a strong enough ring probably, but we're gonna find out, we're gonna test it. We gonna test it, we're gonna make them ring, ting, ting, ting. That's it, that's it. That's it, that's it, hombres. So, it's cooling down, I don't, do, do I have to let it cool down? I don't know. It's cooling down. The ring is cool. I'm gonna have to... Look, it did this like little line here, I guess, I don't know, Kira added that in? I don't know. I don't know what that's for. Calibration, I don't know why that's there at all. <sighs> Some kind of minimalist brim. What do I do with the scrappies? Do I just save it and like save it in like a scrappies bin? Because some people said you can um, like add acetone and you can kind of melt like scrap PLA and use it 
as like a bed adhesive or I don't know, I'm not really sure. Maybe a glue if you're gluing parts together. Anyway, 10 minute vid, interesting noises. Learned something? Learned that I didn't have enough glue in that one spot and it peeled out like crazy. Now I I'm gonna wash the bed because the glue is starting to build up, but I didn't buy like the, the whatever it's called, like Gorilla Magilla, the bomb blue, the blue, the like purple glue. Oh, it's purple. But I bought the Elmer's washable school glue stick. It says disappearing purple. I didn't even see that, but it is purple. So the three pack of those is way cheaper than the than the custom one, two pack purple, purple, purple stuff known for being purple. But this Elmer stuff is the same thing, just cheaper. Anyway, good stuff. And it works, just need more. And maybe a heater. Because there's a lot of bungling up stuff there and maybe that was because of the cold. I don't know. So glue, heat. We're gonna get these calisthenic rings printing at minimal quality. <laughs>